Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Canadian Shield. My name is Sterling. I'm your host. The Bloc Québécois leader, Blanchet, Yves Blanchet, has done two things rather well. One, he has convinced the world that he's not good at statesmanship. And two, he has Canada waiting on bated breath to find out whether or not he will throw his support behind the Conservatives to topple the Liberal government. Those of you that might not be aware, let me show you. Let me tell you how we got to this point. The NDP tore up, quote unquote, tore up their supply and confidence agreement with the Liberal government, which meant that no guarantee the Liberal government would be willing, or, or excuse me, the NDP would be willing to support the Liberal government. Now, of course, we all know that Jagmeet Singh is about as solid on that as a, a banner waving in the wind. However, the Bloc Québécois said, well, if you want our support, to the Liberal Party, they said, if you want our support, we want two things. We want the supply chain looked after, which will be a, a monumental task with the carbon tax. They want support for seniors between the ages 65 and 74, or they're going to not support the Liberal government. Now, this is a really interesting position. We are sort of coming into the nexus of this perfect storm. Well, first, I'm going to let you hear how he's got everybody thinking that he might be something, but if you listen closely... Understand things as they are. The government, the government, I will learn that word one day, did not have the spine to provide us and Canadians and Quebecers with a clear answer. First, the parliament voted clearly in favor of the motion. Then, the government said that the ministers could not vote in favor of the motion, but that this vote would be free for other members of parliament affiliated with the liberals. And then they said that's because it's a procedure thing that prevented them from making a clear decision. So they just want to get some more time and to keep not deciding about anything. They might, they might hope that they will go further than October 29th. They will not. To keep you up to speed on what he just said there, the Bloc said the minute that the NDP tore up their um, supply and confidence agreement that if the Liberals don't support giving seniors more money, then they won't support the Liberal government. And if they do, then they won't call for an election. Now, Blanchet has said that he doesn't think Canada or Quebecers are in the mood for an election. So don't be fooled. That's what I mean. The statesmanship that's being distributed by this guy, so he can try to get... He's trying to work both ends. That's my opinion, and I'll, I'll show you why I mean that. First, he says that he wants this bill introduced, and if the Liberal government doesn't give him royal assent. So he introduced a motion saying that the Liberals must ask for a royal assent on Bill, I think it's 319, and it will give seniors a 65 to 74 extra more money, which, okay. I mean, for a government that's, that stands up every day and says, oh, we're giving them free dentures, so vote for us, I, I can't see why they're going against giving them more money for their uh, pension fund. I suppose at this case they have to say no because then in Quebec it will look like the bloc got what the what the liberals couldn't, right? And then it'll go against them on the on the people that elect the people that vote. The vote passed, and he said that the Liberal Party refused to allow any of their ministers to vote for the bill, but anybody else in the party was allowed to vote for it, right? And so if you're the minister of transportation, minister of finance, minister of minister of minister of, then you had to vote no for this. That's how uh, democratic the Liberal Party is. Anybody else in the backbenches, though, that doesn't have, you know, the title minister or is not part of the cabinet, they can go ahead and vote any as they desire. Now, the motion carried. And two things I would say to that. One, we can see with absolute certainty that the conservatives have no interest in cutting anybody's pension because they supported this bill. Now it comes down to him saying that he wants it done by the 28th of October. So that has to go to the Senate, then the Senate has to say okay, and then it has to be put before the the Prime Minister has to call up the, the Governor General, because in Canada every law has to be approved by the King. That's a thing that we should be talking about as a country. 
that we need King Charles to approve these bills. And he does throw through the appointee, the governor general, who does so at the will of the prime minister. So the prime minister should send it to say, okay, the prime minister will have to call the governor general and say, give this royal assent, and then they will give a royal assent, and then seniors in, in the country will start to get more money, which they desperately need because of the disastrous economic policies of the liberal government. They forget, they leave that out when they talk about giving out dentures. So now here we have this, this little perfect storm where Blanchet is telling you, the Canadians, that he's going to cause the uh, election of the uh, Canada that most people really want, unless the Liberals give him exactly what he wants. And they have a time limit because to get it on the calendar, they'll have a couple of more days in the month to make sure that it gets on the calendar before the end of the month in the Senate. And that's what you just heard him say. So they have until a few days from now to go on with the royal recommendation. And if they do not, we will start as rapidly as next week to speak with other oppositions in order to get ready to go into an election. And I We will start to speak with other oppositions in order to get into an election. However, that the, the nuances in there are not lost on me. So you have the conservatives who, of course, will vote 100% behind having a an election to vote because what he can do now is trigger a no confidence vote because the, the liberal government didn't get this done by October 28th. So let's just say for the sake of argument, the next time there's a, a, a motion day, the conservatives introduce a motion of no confidence and then the bloc will support that 100%, but there's no guarantee what Jagmeet Singh will do, right? Nothing in here can guarantee what the liberal or the NDP will do in support of the liberals. So they could just go back to their, supply and confidence position and, and 100% stand behind the party of the liberals, which of course will strike down the no confidence. It's all about majority rules, right? So there are X number of liberals. And if they add either the bloc or the NDP to the votes that the liberals give, then they have enough to carry the majority, which will strike down any of these motions. So though he's got you thinking that he might do it, though he's got the liberals thinking that he might do it, can he do it? Right? Can he cause this election without the support of Jagmeet Singh? And we, as cl what's clear is that Jagmeet Singh is in no position or no desire to have an election because his party is flat broke, because he doesn't think he'll get any support, because he, he knows that he will lose probably party status at the rate that he's going. Because again, the country is sick and tired of the far left, far left policies that put us in this, in this terrible position that we're in right now. However, there was one more thing that he said that indicates the craftiness of the guy that I, I was not giving him credit for until I heard him do, do this little uh, intro right here, like this little scrum right here. The, the liberals do not give us what we demand on behalf of 4 million Canadians and 1 million Quebecers and supply management. We will start discussing with opposition in order to have this government fall. Now, he used the term in order to have this government fall. But like I just told you, they can't guarantee what the NDP will do. And the Conservatives and the Bloc together are not enough votes to carry a majority motion. But he wants you to think that it'll do. And more importantly, he wants to put pressure on the, on the Trudeau government to make sure that it gets on the, on the docket for the Senate. Now, right now, there is a lot of, you know, Trudeau's in Europe, but there's a lot of people that are zipping around, making calls, dealing and wheeling, dealing, they're having lunch, they're doing these kinds of things that take care of their, you know, texting one another. And they're offering this and they're offering that. Unfortunately for the Liberal Party, because of the Green Slush Fund and their refusal to surrender those documents, they can't offer anybody anything. That's important to understand. Right now, they can do nothing. They can't say a word in Parliament. They can't offer a bill. They can't offer a motion. They can't do anything until they have settled this problem. Now, the Liberal government is hoping that this, the procedural committee will dis disagree with the majority of Parliament, right? That's the thing that you have to look at, that they, she thinks it'll just be about whatever she's trying to talk, uh, Gould is trying to talk about on Twitter. 
how it's all about some sort of violation of civil civil rights. But an office doesn't have those kinds of rights. The the, the RCMP doesn't have those kinds of rights, and nobody is is getting violated by just having documents turned over. The only people that she should be that she's worried about are the people that are smuggling out the four hundred million dollars from the Green Slush Fund. That's the only people she's protecting. This isn't like she's attacking a reporter who's simply asking a question walking down the street or, or, or sending five RCMP officers to somebody's door because they put up something on the internet that somebody may not like, which are both violations of people's civil rights and the Liberal Party said nothing about. So don't be fooled by the words and, the, and the, this posturing, which is what you see from the block. There's a lot of posturing going on because no matter what he does, he can't force the NDP or he, can, he might be able to convince the NDP, but the, because of the, the block being a party that wants to destroy Canada, what does he have to offer to the NDP? Right now, everybody is aware that the only seats that are in play are liberal seats. And that means to the NDP, Nova Scotia, some New Brunswick, many Quebec, and some Southern Ontario. He may be able to do okay in Southern Ontario. He's not going to do well in Quebec. And I won't speak to the East Coast because the Liberal Party's got most of their seats from Quebec and Ontario. Now, what can the Bloc Quebecois offer other than their votes to support a motion put forward to have a no confidence? So right now, what the Liberal Party is waiting for to see if the procedural committee will support them and tell every tell try to tell the entire majority of Parliament that they don't think it's right that somebody should have to turn over those documents, which they can't do. I mean, to do so would be a very was a, would be a violation of the very principles of democracy on which our entire Western Hemisphere is founded. The majority ruled that this is what they want. The Liberal Party clearly throwing a hissy fit doesn't have the right to decide what else is happening and the speaker was just looking for a way out so that he can try to tell both sides that he did his best however there's no way in the world that we can say that the majority of parliament doesn't get what they want how many times have you heard the liberal government say the majority gets what they want and the ndp supported us so we're going to now give free prescription pills to whoever it may be so now all of a sudden the very same logic has been abandoned by the Liberal Party because it doesn't suit them. Appreciate what that would be like if you came to them with a problem. Appreciate how quickly they will flip and flop if you're coming toward them with an issue. So here's what the Liberals are waiting for, right? They're waiting for this to happen or they're going to see if they can stall the block. And if they have to do any of that, they'll, they'll try to prorogue. Unfortunately for them, the proroguing the government will do a lot of things. It will destroy the any bill that's happening right now, anything. C-63, the drug and the prescription medication, all of them will be shut down. Mark Carney's job will be out the window and we have to start all over again. So the only thing that Pro Rogan can do is stall and it will kill all the bills that are in the government and then, then the parliament will sit again in it'll, the next session. So that, let's call that uh, late January they'll come back to to sit in the house again and the, all of these problems will still exist the documents still won't have been surrendered the block will still want the and by that time of course the canadian parliament the canadian country will just be basically like losing their minds but to think that the block is saying to you that i can make it happen if the liberal doesn't give us what he so really what they're doing is making you with the teasing you a little bit to get your hopes up so that he can take your hope and put pressure on the Liberal Party, which from his position, I get it. It's, 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 it's good what they call statescraft, right? I, it's, 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 it's politics. He's playing politics. But I don't for one second believe that he has the right to topple the government without the NDP throwing in as well. And we all know that Jagmeet Singh has made it clear that he's not interested in, throwing, in toppling the government. On top of that, Blanchet himself said in this interview, in this scrum, that he doesn't believe Canada or Quebecers are in the mood for an election. So I don't know where he gets that logic from, but I suppose he only cares about the voting population in Quebec. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. I just wanted to keep you, you know, abreast of how to really, how, you know, to, how to keep, keep a level eye on it. All right, I'm going to wrap here. I want to thank you for listening. I will talk to you next time.